These 21 short videos will help you quickly see and understand the relationships and patterns between various types of irregular verbs so that you can use them properly. This video will help you see relationships between various types of irregular verbs in English. The key to understanding irregular verbs is to look for and notice the patterns. We'll start with the easiest ones, verbs like hit. Verbs like hit do not change in the past or the past participle. As you can see here, with hit you have the same form in the base form, the past form, and the past participle form. Hit, hit, hit. You can see other examples like cut, 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 let, 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 put, put, put. There's no change in the different forms of the verb. The only change comes with the S form. Now the S form of the verb is used with the third person singular subjects such as he, she, the man, the woman, the dog, it. And that requires an S. Hits, cuts, lets, puts. Now you'll also notice something interesting about the ING form for these verbs. You'll notice that most of these end with the letter T or the T sound. And because of the short vowel in these verbs, the final T is doubled before adding the ing. The only ones that are different are the two at the bottom, burst and cast. We don't need to double the t there because there's already a consonant before the final t. Now we have some variations on verbs like hit. For example, with the verb spread, it follows the same pattern in that the past and the past participle are exactly the same as the base form. Spread, spread, spread. The difference here is this one ends with a D sound and in the ING form the D letter is not doubled. The next one is knit, which actually has two acceptable forms in the past and the past participle. It follows the same pattern as hit knit, 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 but it can also take on a regular verb ending, ed, for example, knitted or knitted in the past and past participle. Notice that the t is also doubled before you add the ed ending in this case. Then we have spit. Spit has two different forms in the past and the past participle. It follows the basic same structure as hit, spit, 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 but also acceptable in the past is spat and spat. So there are two different forms that can be used. Now the next one, sit, is not exactly the same as hit, but it follows a pattern that was used with the verb spit in that it changes to an at sound. So it goes sit, sat, sat. The last one, cost, follows the same pattern as the others, cost, 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 but there's something different with the ing form. Cost is what we call a non-action verb. That means we don't normally use this with the ing form. For example, you would not say, that is costing five dollars. 